So, I'm cruising through Netflix, and I'd already cruised through Peacock, Paramount Plus, uh, Disney Plus, HBO Max. These are the things that I subscribe to, and and I'm looking for something to watch. And I I keep in my peripheral vision in that track that goes across the screen of all the shows you can choose from, you know, recently added or action drama, whatever they have, I keep seeing this one where there's this kid and he's with his parents in a car and they're driving and the policeman pulls him over and it's the most intense, horrifying thing I felt for just a few seconds to come from like a little trailer. But for some reason, I never pressed play on it. Well, I finally decided to. And it turned out to be a show called Colin in Black and White. I'm not an athlete. I'm not into sports. I, I got to be honest, I don't even know who he is or, or what the show is about. And because of that, I had no urge to watch it, I guess. But I decided to press play anyway because I just made myself something to eat. And I usually watch things that I don't really know or care about while I'm eating because they don't require 100% attention. So I'm watching Colin in Black and White. And uh, almost immediately, I start to like it. Almost, and I'm binging it now. I'm, I'm, I'm done. And I love it. I mean, it's like one of the best, most educational, most insightful shows I've ever watched. And what's interesting is I pressed pause on one of the episodes and went to my iPhone to go on to IMBD, International Movie Database. And I looked at critics' reviews and people's, and I was amazed at its score, like a 4.3. That would be the bottom, the, the worst of the worst. You know what I mean? That's a horrible rating on the International Movie Database, which usually has higher scores than that stupid tomatoes thing. So I don't, believe anything critics say. I don't believe anything public opinion says. I mean, after all, Trump became president, right? So that stuff doesn't necessarily mean anything, but it bothers me. It bothers me because the very essence of the show, <clears throat> I don't want to get choked up, but the very essence of the show, the beauty, the purity of it, is that it's, it's showing white people what they do to make other people specifically Black people, not black Americans, black people, no matter what country they come from, no matter where they come from, which in reality, I look at myself as a black person too, but I'm albino. We all originated from Africa. We all come from that region. We have all adapted, evolved, done what it takes to survive, to turn out what we look like based upon the parts of the world we lived in and evolved in. Anyway, so this show is showing us what people do. Now, my favorite part of the show so far is a part where he explains all of these television stereotypes, these like the Urkels and things like that, and some other characters from shows I never watched. And, and what's interesting is I didn't watch those shows because they were annoying, because I had never met a black person like any of those characters. And just like I didn't like watching shows with white characters that were annoying, because I didn't know anybody that acted like that either. I hated the Three Stooges as a kid. I don't know why, I just hated it. I liked Abbott and Costello, you know what I mean? But anyway, what I'm trying to say is I love this show, I love it. And I wish it was a staple for every white kid to watch in school and every black kid. Now, I saw some opinions and critiques, both professional critiques and morons with an opinion critiques, which social media has given everybody a voice now. Every idiot walking around with half a brain cell and no teeth can get on his stupid computer or iPhone and express his ridiculous opinion. <laughs> so my favorite part is there's a part where all those characters are being taught, and he says that black people didn't like those characters either, and that they were nothing like real black people at all. They were created specifically to make white people feel comfortable, to see a black person on the big screen or the TV screen that made you feel safe and not that they were non-threatening and that they were pretty foolish. And if you had ever come across one in the wild, you could dominate them. 
the, the TV show I hated the most was Cops. And the reason I hated Cops is because everybody I knew was always saying, "Let's, I'm going to watch Cops tonight, blah, blah, blah. I hated that show. And the reason why was because, in my opinion, it seemed like they only arrested minorities, specifically black people. You never saw white people getting arrested on that show. And probably that's because when you do see white people getting arrested, they always do this. They cover their face. They're embarrassed to be arrested, right? And when minorities get arrested, they tend to struggle because it's usually wrongful. So they're struggling and they're a little more dramatic and they go, man, they do things like this. Hey, stop. Or they act real proud. You know what I mean? If they're in a gang, they're probably going to act real proud. Like, yeah, I'm getting ready to serve time and I'm proud of it. You know what I mean? Bring it. That kind of thing. Then that's more entertaining, isn't it? So that's what you're going to see. And then that's being put into white people's living rooms. And white people start to think that all crimes are committed by black people. White people are privileged. White people do take things for granted. I'm not saying that all white people should be embarrassed and feel a certain way and act a certain way and change who they are, but I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying use a little bit of empathy and stop acting so entitled that you can pretend that none of this is happening. That racism doesn't exist and that just because you say you're not a racist, you're not doing racist things. Because you probably are. And that's what this show shows. Colin in black and white. It, it It's about a young black boy with white parents growing up in America and having to at every turn deal with some sort of racism. Whether it be MAGA racism, blatant for everybody to see, or micro racism, which is little twicks and turns and things that white people do when they talk to black people. I honestly can't tell you why I am not racist and why I know I'm not racist. Why I have empathy and why I am in... In, in, in anger at the thought that any human being would be treated as less than another human being just because of the color of their skin. I mean, one of my favorite things to talk about is that there are bigger differences between me and my hot girlfriend than there are between me and any other man anywhere on this planet. No matter how tall he is, no matter how thin or, or large he is, no matter what color his skin is, what kind of hair he is, it doesn't matter. What color his eyes are, it doesn't matter. She has huge mammary glands and a vagina. I got a dick, okay? We get together and we make a baby. Me, I don't understand, you know what I mean? That's what's crazy about it all. So I highly recommend that everybody watches Colin in Black and White. And, and one of the things that the critics and these idiots talk about, getting back to it, is that the show could be dangerous. That it could incite things because it could teach black people that they have the right to be angry, that they actually have the right to rise up, that they actually have the right to say, we're done, man, and the power to do so. Oh, yeah. Well, fuck you. <laughs> it's the truth. It, it is what it is. I mean, 10 white kids can reach up and grab a cookie off of a tray in a hotel lobby and no one say anything. Those same kids can go back and get another one. And if there's a person giving them out, because they're all white kids, she doesn't remember their faces. So she keeps giving them out, even if they're getting one, two, and three, and even if the policy is one per kid or one per customer. But when the one black kid on the team goes and gets a cookie, everyone remembers. Everyone watches him. The staff looks at him like, did he just steal that? Does he, does he staying at this hotel? Is he, is he asking people for money in the lobby? What is he doing here? You know what I mean? 
Do you know what I mean? Do you empathize enough to know what I mean? Do you care? Are you offended by my video because you're white? Is it offending you? Am, am, am I going to deserve a bunch of thumb downs because I'm empathetic to another human being on the planet? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what Twitter, Tweeter, whatever it says. I don't care what Fox News says. I don't care what people I've never met, never will meet, or anyone who wants a thumb up or a thumb down thinks of me. I don't care. And... I never have, and that's why I'm a nobody, because I don't care, right? Okay, well, I don't care. All I care about are the people who love me and the people that I love, the people who also get upset when they see things about other people that they know has nothing to do with the truth. Cancel culture. Sometimes it's warranted. Most of the time, it's probably not. Watch Colin in black and white. Watch it. It's fantastic. And if you get offended or it bothers you in any way or form, if you can't watch it as enlightening and beautiful, great music, great storytelling, if you can't appreciate it for what it is, I'm sorry, my friends. I'm sorry, but I'm here to tell you you're racist because that's what racism is. You don't have the ability to sit through it's history. It bothers you. It hurts you. And you don't want to watch it. So instead of submitting and acknowledging what your history has done, your white history has done to black people, I'm not even going to finish what I have to say. I'm just going to stop. It's already a 12-minute video. I just want you to think about it and look at the color of your skin. And if you don't believe me, if you don't care about any of this and you're offended, go get a knife and cut your wrist and look at what color your blood is. Look at the color. Look at the color. Mm, Americans. No, white Americans, right? Right? Colin in black and white. Watch it. Learn.